Hello students, under the topic Lipschitz condition, this is the first problem. If capital S is defined by the rectangle modulus of x lesser than or equal to a, modulus of y lesser than or equal to b, show that the following functions f of x comma y equal to x squared plus y squared and f of x comma y equal to x sine y plus y cos x satisfies the Lipschitz condition. Also find the Lipschitz constant. Now here we have two different functions. So let us do separately. So first we will consider f of x comma y to be equal to x squared plus y squared. And we will find the, uh, we will first check whether this function satisfies the Lipschitz constant a uh, condition. And then we shall find the Lipschitz constant for this function. Now here it is given that this function, these two functions are defined in the region capital S where X is bounded by A and Y is bounded by B which means this modulus of X lesser than or equal to A means X lies between minus A and plus A and modulus of Y lesser than or equal to B implies that Y lies between minus B and plus B. So it is given that modulus of A x is lesser than or equal to a which implies x lies between minus a and plus a and modulus of y lesser than or equal to b implies y lies between minus b and plus b. So let us spot out the region now. Now x equal to a is this region okay and x equal to negative a is here and similarly y equal to b is this region and y equal to minus b is here. So, first we shall mark the region, uh, the region, the rectangle. So, this is the rectangle under which the functions are defined. Now, in this region, we have to check whether the given function satisfies the Lipschitz condition. So, let us see that now. The necessary condition for a function to satisfy the Lipschitz condition is that the partial derivative of that function with respect to y must exist and it has to be continuous. And secondly, the modulus of dou f by dou y of, of, that fu of the function f of x comma y will be lesser than or equal to a constant k. And this constant k is known as the Lipschitz constant. So if these two conditions are satisfied, then we can say that the given function satisfies the Lipschitz condition. So we will be using these two conditions and we will be proving that the given function satisfy the Lipschitz condition. And from that we will be evaluating the Lipschitz constant k. So let us see that now. Now we shall consider the first function that is given. So f of x comma y is given to be x squared plus y squared. So first let us find dou f by dou y. So dou f by dou y of x comma y. Okay this function will be equal to. Now we are differentiating this partially with respect to y. So this will be x squared will be treated as constant. And so the differentiation of a constant is 0. And the differentiation of y squared is 2y. Now we can observe that the function f is continuous. Because it is equal to 2y and we know that y is a bounded function. It is bounded by uh, that is modulus of y is given to be lesser than or equal to b. So therefore f the function f exists and is continuous. So the first condition is satisfied. Continuous. Okay. Uh, so continuous. So the first condition is satisfied. Now uh, uh, we have to take the modulus of this. So do f of x comma y by do y so the modulus of this will be equal to modulus of 2y which is equal to 2 modulus of y but we know that modulus of y is lesser than or equal to b and so uh, this will be lesser than or equal to 2b which is a constant so therefore we observe that modulus of Okay, so the modulus of do f of x comma y by do y is lesser than or equal to a constant k where k is equal to 
to b so this constant so we observe that it satisfies the second condition also so these two conditions are satisfied so if these two conditions are satisfied then it implies that the given function f satisfies satisfies the lipschitz condition condition and also the lipschitz constant is given by also the lipschitz constant is equal to what it is 2b so therefore this is the lipschitz constant of the given function f okay now let us do the uh, do in the same method for the second subdivision so the second subdivision is f of x comma y is equal to x sin y plus y cos x so now first we shall uh, find do f of x comma y by do y so if we differentiate this partially with respect to y so uh, x will be treated as constant so we will get it as such the differentiation of sin y is cos y plus the differentiation of y is 1 and 1 multiplied by this is a constant cos x so 1 multiplied by cos x so it will be only cos x so we can see that the uh, this x is continuous cos y is continuous and cos x is also continuous and therefore this implies that the function f exists and is continuous So the first condition is satisfied. Now the second condition is we have to uh, check the modulus of do f of x comma y by do y. And so the modulus of this is equal to the modulus of x cos y plus cos x. Okay. By using the triangular inequality this will be lesser than or equal to modulus of cos y plus modulus of cos x and so that is lesser than or equal to modulus of x modulus of cos y plus modulus of cos x and it is given that modulus of x is lesser than or equal to a and we also know that modulus of the cos function is uh, for example if it is cos y it will be definitely lesser than or equal to 1 similarly modulus of cos x will also be lesser than or equal to 1 because we know that uh, the the cos uh, x flips between minus 1 and plus 1 because we know that the lower limit for cos 0 is 1 and we know that cos 180 is minus 1 and as the value keeps on changing it will, uh, the values will lie between 1 and minus 1 so the therefore the modulus of the cos function will be lesser than or equal to 1 and so we can write this as lesser than or equal to so modulus of x is lesser than or equal to a and this is 1 plus and this is also 1 and so that is equal to actually a plus 1 so therefore the given uh, function that is do f of x comma y by do y is lesser than or equal to a plus 1 which is a constant k where k is equal to a plus 1 and this implies that the given function f satisfies the Lipschitz condition with the lipstick Lipschitz constant k equal to a plus 1 so therefore f satisfies the Lipschitz condition and the Lipschitz constant for this problem is k equal to a plus 1. Hope you have understood how to solve a problem dealing with Lipschitz condition. So this is the solution of the given problem. Thank you.